We have three problems here about static friction, and even though they ask for different things, they all have the same initial setup. So what I want in this video is for you to come to see the underlying structure of these three problems, recognize the initial setup, and then from that setup, you'll be able to find the different things that have been asked. First, let's read the problems and identify the information that we've been given. Okay, so I spaced these out. It says a 5.3 kilogram wood podium. That's the mass of the podium. It is sitting on a horizontal marble floor. The coefficient of static friction between wood and marble is 0.4. So we've been given the coefficient of static friction, which is a kind of a measure of roughness between these surfaces, wood and marble. Then we're asked, what's the biggest, the biggest horizontal force with which someone can push without moving the block? So we have a horizontal force, which is uh, F sub A, the applied force. And I'm going to put F A, and then in parentheses, it's horizontal. And it's the force with which someone pushes so that the block doesn't move. If the block's not moving, it's at rest. The total force is zero, the sum of the forces, or the net force. And that means we can balance our forces. Left will be balanced with right, up will be balanced with down. Okay, the last thing that we need to put onto our uh, list of what's what this problem is about, there's one more thing to put down. Uh, if the block's not moving, but it's being pushed, then the reason it doesn't move, right, so here's the block, someone is pushing, and the reason it doesn't move despite their push is because of static friction. But rather than make a picture right now, I just want to list there is static friction. And not only is it static friction, but it's the maximum static friction. And here's how we know that. It says, what is the biggest horizontal push before the block starts moving? If you're pushing the hardest that you can push, that means static friction has reached its peak. Any harder, and the block moves. OK, number two. We have a 26, that's mass, kilogram block pushed to the right with a force, a maximum force of 140. That's an applied force to the right. So we have FA, which is horizontal. And it's pushed with that force and a maximum force of 140 newtons before it starts sliding. If it's not sliding, there's static friction creating the traction that prevents it from moving. Static friction keeps it in place despite the push. And the static friction has reached its max because 140 newtons is the hardest. It's the maximum you push. And static friction still holds the block stationary. And then it asks, what's the coefficient? If the block's not moving, then the total force again is zero, and our forces are balanced. balance the forces. The third problem, a block can be pushed with 48 newtons to the right. That is a horizontal force Bef before it starts moving on a flat surface. The coefficient of static friction, mu s, is given. Find the mass of the block. And this is before it starts moving, so it still is at rest. You're pushing on the block, but it's not going anywhere because of the maximum static friction. We put max because static friction is as big as it can get. You are pushing as hard as you can before it moves. So static friction has reached its maximum. OK, here's the setup which we can use for all three problems. In each case, we have a horizontal surface. That was in every single problem. There was a block, 
sitting on the horizontal surface and the block was not moving that's crucial that means the total force is zero newtons and we can balance our forces what that means when we say balance the forces we mean the forces pointing left equal the forces pointing right if you add up the forces pointing up they balance they equal the forces pointing down that's what balance forces means okay then let's draw some forces we always have gravity pulling down and the force of gravity the weight of an object how hard it's pulled by gravity is mg the normal force is supporting the table and when we balance up and down right, let's move this over when we balance up and down we see that the only up force Fn is equal to the only down force Mg I replaced this with the sole up force I replaced this with the sole down force and what did I what did I find I found that Fn equals Mg so I'm gonna mark that in my picture then what other forces are there there's a person pushing forward with an applied force but of course something balances it because the blocks not moving the block has traction with the ground the traction is provided by static friction and static friction according to the problem has reached its maximum value because this is the hardest the person can push and still have static friction hold the block stationary any harder any bigger the applied force gets static friction can no longer hold the block and the block starts moving so we have balancing of the left and right forces we already wrote that down and when we balance left and right the only left force is F static max the only right force is the applied and what do we see then we have uh, we have an equation and in all of these problems we're going to use this equation the one I'm ab about to write down we will always use the equation max static friction force equals mu s the coefficient of static friction times the normal okay. and then we will always be able to replace the maximum static friction with the applied force since those are balanced and we will always be able to replace the normal force with mg since those are balanced and these problems we'll be solving will always use the relationships we've shown right here so let's take one quick example and look at the first uh, the first problem okay so I'm gonna solve number two a 26 kilogram block can be pushed to the right with a maximum force of 140 newtons before it starts sliding on a horizontal table what's the coefficient of static friction between the block and the table draw a free body diagram it's a good idea to read a problem once without marking it at all right? this helps us to build a picture of the entire problem before we even put anything on paper so what is our picture we have a block it's on a horizontal table it's not moving it has yet to slide but it's being pushed to the right as hard as you can push so here's the block it's the same picture we drew before and it's being pushed to the right static friction holds it static friction resists the push gives it traction the normal force is up and gravity is down so gravity is equal to mg the normal force balances gravity because the block is in equilibrium block is not sliding the applied force is to the right static friction is to the left and static friction is at the maximum value we know that because it says the applied force is as big as it gets before the block moves 
So static friction is holding as strong as it can, it's pulling back as strong as it can, pushing against the applied force. The traction is as great as it can get. All right, what do we what do we know? Mass is 26. We obviously we always know g is 9.8. You don't need to list that in your givens, but we're trying to find mu s. So here's the work that we want to show. You definitely want to have a picture because it asks for a free body diagram. Whoops, my diagram is not doesn't show the body freely. I show the diagram with its environment, so it has not been drawn free from its environment. So technically, my, my diagram is not a free body diagram. If I take away the ground, so now all I show is the object itself, the block. Whoa. All I'm showing is the block itself, free from its environment. Now it's a free body diagram. Small technicality. OK, we know that the left forces balance the right forces. We know that the normal force is equal to mg. That's shown in my picture. The equation we will be using, the one that contains mu s, the only one with mu s, is fs max equals mu s times the normal force. The maximum force I can replace with the applied force. Mu is going to be my unknown. And the normal force I replace with mg. We plug in our values. The maximum force was uh, was what did they say? 140, right? This is 140 is equal to mu. The mass was given as 26. G is 9.8. You solve for mu. And what do mu get? Ha ha ha. Yuck, 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 yuck. Uh, 140 over 26 over 9.8 gives me a mu. Mu get about 5.55. And that is how you solve. In the other problems that you, that you were shown at the beginning, you are still using the balancing of our forces, right? We're still using the balancing, uh, and we're still using this equation to find one of these things, either the static friction, the applied force, mu, or the mass. We're going to be finding one of those four things in every problem uh, of the type that I just showed you.